hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ayo and I'm based in Lagos Nigeria I hope you are all fine and doing great on this channel I upload DIYs pattern drafting and sewing tutorials if you haven't subscribed yet kindly do so and remember to turn on the notification bell on today's tutorial I'll be modifying my skirt pattern pieces which I drafted in a previous tutorial into a culotte pants so if you are ready for this tutorial, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Thank you. I will be working with the following items. Tape rule, paper scissors, rulers, curves, sketch pattern pieces from a previous tutorial, marker pen, calculator, pattern paper and paints so I have pinned the front pattern of the basic straight skirt on a fresh pattern paper I have also drawn some lines on it we will need the crotch depth measurement to get the crotch depth measurement you have to sit down on the hard surface and measure from your waistline downwards this line is the crotch depth measurement plus ease and it's measured from the waistline downwards. This line is the midpoint between the crotch depth line and the waistline. I will now calculate my ease measurement divided by 8 minus 2 centimeters, which is 108 all over 8 minus 2 which gave me 11.4 centimeters. This value is the crush extension. I will now measure out the 11.4 at the center front on the crush depth line. I will extend the line using my ruler. At this middle point, I will draw a 3 cm guideline that I will use to draw my curve. I will now use my French curve to draw the curve like so the next thing to do is to extend the line downwards to the hem but first I will measure out 11.4 centimeters crotch extension that I calculated earlier like this so that I will have a perfectly straight line down to my hem I will use my ruler to draw the straight line I will add 1.5 or 0.5 inch seam allowance all around my pattern when cutting it out on my fabric so this is my back pattern just like the front, this line is the crotch depth line plus 2 cm and it was made from the waistline downwards. This line is the middle line between the crotch depth line and the waistline. I will now calculate my back crotch extension using the formula hips male mate all over 8 plus 2 cm, which is 107 all over 8 plus 2, and this gave me 15.4 cm. I will measure the 15.4 cm at the center back on the crotch depth line. So I will square all the line like so. At this middle point, I will measure a 4 cm guideline. I 
I will now use this as a guide to, to draw my curve using the French curve like so. The next thing to do is to extend the line downwards from the crotch. But first, I will mark out the 15.4 cm crotch extension that I calculated earlier, like this, so that I can get a perfectly straight line. I will add 1.5 cm seam allowance all around my pattern when cutting it out on my fabric. So now I will cut out my patterns. I cut out the front and the back patterns. So this is my front person. I cut two pieces on my fabric. And this is the back person. I also cut two pieces on the fabric. So that's it guys, we are done. If you find this video useful, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get more videos like this. See you in my next video. Bye and thank you for watching.